So now that we've gone ahead and created this um, landscape canvas here with nice two-dimensional features on it, like the water feature and the driveway, let's go ahead and place some three-dimensional features. Um, so I've gone ahead and already placed what uh, you can tell here is a tree. And I placed this ahead of time because it was very, very slow to load. Uh, and I want, but I wanted to show you an example of what a complex tree looks like. And as you can see, it's got lots and lots of parts to it um, because it is true 3D. Um, and um, if we zoom in, everything's very slow when this is here. So you want to be very careful about using um, these big complex trees unless you have a really awesome graphics card. Um, and as you can see, it just, it just really slows everything down. Um, but nonetheless, I wanted you to see that. And I'm going to teach you now how to actually go ahead and put a tree in here. But first of all, I'm going to delete this thing, which is really slowing me down. And the way we actually go ahead and um, add trees and, and 3D objects is um, through this components window here. Um, and so uh, the way you get to that is by going to window components. Um, and so I went ahead and I typed in oak tree here. I did a search and it came up with a bunch of oak trees here. And in fact, they're about 393 and I can browse through them by using these arrows here. Um, but let's go ahead and just choose some. Now, you just never really know uh, until you actually look at these. You can click on them and you get more information. This takes you to the 3D warehouse. And incidentally, you can also go directly to, um, to the 3D warehouse um, online and you can actually just click on trees that you like. You see a lot more here. It's a lot easier to browse. You can click on them and then you can download them and it will actually load it into SketchUp, but it won't load it into your active SketchUp. It will load it into another SketchUp. You'll have to copy it and paste it. Um, but for now, let's just use this. So um, what we see here is, you know, um, a nice uh, oak tree. Let's take a quick look at it. Um, and you have to click on it to download it. And then you can just sort of drag it in there and then you click. Now, the one thing I'll see here is this one is probably, yeah, it's two-dimensional. Um, so I probably don't want that one. And sometimes you can tell if they're two-dimensional, sometimes you can't. Here's one uh, that says it's three-dimensional, so we'll click on it and we'll drag it in. And it's three-dimensional. It's kind of a simple, you can see it's kind of a, a simple wireframe here. Um, and But that may be enough for our purposes here, just to get the idea across. And it's going to really speed things up a lot to have a tree like this rather than that one I showed you at the beginning. Uh, we'll try a couple others here. Um, you know, here's a little one. This is too small, so let's go ahead and scale this up. We'll click on our scale and make it bigger. And this one is similar in terms of having two cross sections. Um, and we'll try it here. And we'll see some of them are a little less um, photorealistic, but this one is still pretty complex. Uh, it might be a little weird to have a mix of these two different kinds of trees in here, but nonetheless, we'll just put it in here. I'm going to scale it down a little bit um, just to give you an idea of what a bunch of different trees would look like. I'm going to try um, this one here, too. That one's kind of nice. This one's sort of a good, um, as you can see, this is true 3D. It's not as complicated, but it, it's uh, a little bit photorealistic. Um, and so maybe we'll want to have a bunch of those. So we'll go ahead and uh, make some copies, and then we'll uh, paste a few around, make a nice little kind of uh, lakeside environment here. Uh, and if we want it to be a little more realistic, we can make some bigger and some a little smaller, and so forth. Uh, okay, so there's some trees. Um, now let's say we want to place some other objects like a um, street light. So it'll take a second just to, oop, I spelled it wrong. That's what happened. Street light. Um, okay, so we got some street lights. I like this one here. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's classic. Um, so we'll click on it, download it, and we'll drag it over, make sure it's touching the ground here. We always want to make sure we're touching the ground, and we can tell here that we are. Um, and again, this one I'm going to copy and paste, so I'm just going to make a bunch of these. Um, and this might be off scale, but for now it's fine for my purposes. Um, as long as the scale is somewhat consistent, that's good. Let's try one more object. 
This time, we're going to do a car. So we'll type car, and there's tons of cars you can put in here. Uh, and that's why it's thinking pretty hard here. And uh, come on, SketchUp, you can do it. There we go. So let's choose the first car we see. Now there's five, 55,000 cars, so there's a lot to choose from. Um, you might actually want to go, if you really want a lot of cool cars, you might want to go to the 3D Warehouse online. Um, we'll take a look at it. Looks fine. We'll download it and move it over here. Okay, we'll put it in our road. One problem, it's facing the wrong way. What do we do? Well, we got to rotate it. The way we rotate it, we click on the rotate tool. And we're going to click it. There's Now, there's two axes. When it's blue, it's going to be rotating along the ground axis. So now I'm going to choose that. And now I have it facing the right way. And I click this. Now everything, let's zoom back a little bit. It all looks pretty cool now. So we've got some great 3D objects in there.